The story of the BMF belt begins with these two, Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal. In 2019, the UFC introduced a special belt, the BMF belt. The goal was to find fighters with specific personalities to wear this belt. Fighters who have the most exciting fights in the UFC, the most dangerous fights, most bloody, all-out war fighters. Only four have fought for it so far. Those who don't know, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal has been in there with everyone. He's been in the UFC for a long time. He's retired now, but the BMF belt was invented because of him. Here's him knocking out uh, Darren Till. The hype train derailed him fast, and his career hadn't been the same since. Game bred in his prime was vicious, but Nate Diaz is also a legend, defeated Conor McGregor. I want to add that Nate Diaz has the slickest one-two in the game. Boom, boom. A one-two is a jab followed by the backhand, fast. Check this out. Slick. The slickest one-two in the game. I didn't put the one-two he put on Leon Edwards because everybody's seen it. I mean, Leon Edwards has been on that highlight reel for like 10 years. Nate Diaz has great ground game, great jujitsu, great wrestling, and he's a submission artist. I feel like everyone can fight for the title, but not anyone can fight for the BMF belt. And the hardcore fans know I'm not lying when I say that. So these two legends come together for the first time in their career, and what happens? Game bred Masvidal runs at him like this, points at his knee, and for those who don't know, what he's referring to here, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Yep, and he was trying to do it to Nate Diaz, but Nate Diaz wasn't having it. So how does the fight turn out? Boom! Wow, look at the anger on his face. That's why he's fighting for the BMF, right there. Look at that viciousness. Jorge Masvidal disposes of Nate Diaz, the gangster, the legend, and has the BMF belt wrapped around his waist by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Nate Diaz didn't like that too much. I mean, after the fight, he cursed out uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson for doing that, for wrapping the belt around Jorge Masvidal. Go watch it. Go check it out. It's pretty funny. Gamebred Masvidal retires with the belt. What now? Who fights for it? These two gentlemen fight for it. Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje. Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje have fought twice. The first time, it was not for the BMF belt. How did their first fight go? Well, for those who don't know, this is who Dustin Poirier is. Little do they know, they're using their careers to apply for the BMF belt. Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier, their first fight was not for the BMF title. It was just a fight, which uh, Justin Gaethje got finished. Justin Gaethje was eating him up with those leg kicks, but he kept leaving himself open. He actually tore Dustin's quad, the back of his leg, with those leg kicks. He kept leaving himself open and ended up getting finished on their first fight. I mean, Justin Gaethje just looks so cool, even when he's losing. Even when he's losing, he looks awesome. And for those of you who don't know who Justin Gaethje is, let me also show you. What Justin Gaethje did to Tony Ferguson should be illegal. I mean, he ended his career. So Jorge Masvidal retires. There's no one to fight for the belt. Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier sign up to fight each other for the second time, but this time the BMF belt is on the line. And Justin Gaethje was just too tuned in. They were catching each other at first, then Justin Gaethje does this, knocks him clean out, does the signature backflip, and that's all she wrote. He didn't want to look at Jorge Masvidal. <laughs> he didn't want to look at him. So the BMF title has been fought for twice. Gamebred Masvidal, Nate Diaz, Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje. Four fighters have fought for this belt 
in history. Two more are about to fight for it at UFC 300. Max Holloway, Justin Gaethje. I just showed you who Justin Gaethje was. If you aren't familiar with Max Holloway or who he is, check this out. Now we have Justin the Highlight Gaethje versus Max Blessed Holloway. Who do you think is going to take it? Justin Gaethje is my number one favorite fighter. He is. Dustin Poirier used to be only because we're from the same state. He lives about an hour from me. Not everyone can fight for the BMF belt. Everyone can fight for the title. But for the BMF belt, you have to have a certain reputation, personality, certain kind of fight footage. You have to, I mean, Nate Diaz, Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje, Jorge Masvidal, Max Blessed Holloway. These are guys in their own category. That's why I love the BMF belt. I'm one of those guys that loves it. I don't know about y'all. I've heard some bad talk about the BMF belt. It's a gimmick. It's a money grab. These guys, they have money. The UFC has money. They're giving this to us. They're trying to show us, hey, these the people who fight for this belt are in a totally different category. And the people who have fought for that belt already, we agree. We can look over there and tell, yeah, the people who fight for that belt are in a different category. The BMF belt is being presented again at UFC 300. Justin Gaethje, Max Bless Holloway are going at it. And honestly, I love Justin Gaethje, man, but I think Max is going to take it. I don't know why. I have that feeling. I think Max is going to overwhelm him, and Max is going to take it. But let me know who y'all think is going to win. Subscribe.